Oh, I never touched the leopard gecko's belly. It's really cool. Yeah, I like the feeling. It's really cool. And the claws do have a funny feeling. It's really cool. Okay, I'm going to put her in here. Go into your hide a little. Uh, I don't know your name. I didn't name you yet. Go into your new home. <music> This is Why Soul Animal TV. Introduce you my new pet. This pet is, in fact, a reptile. Yeah, so this is my first reptile. My first reptile this is, and she's a leopard gecko, red striped leopard gecko. Uh, a red stripe is her morph. Yeah, and she's inside this thing. She's a red stripe. I personally like spotted leopard geckos because they're they're more natural. And so, leopard geckos are I th I think the most easiest reptiles to keep as pets. Um, they're cheap and they aren't that aggressive like monitors, and they don't require a light. That's the best thing about them. They don't require a light because they're nocturnal. So you don't need heat lamps, you can just use a heat mat like I do. And they grow up to about 25 centimeters to be big and usually about 20 centimeters. Mine is in the middle of adult and juvenile. She's gonna still grow, but I don't think she's gonna grow much. And yeah, she's a female, if I think I told you. And the first, the substrate. I. I just use kitchen towels. You can use uh, like paper or newspaper, but I like kitchen towels. If you use normal sand, they will like eat the sand. Uh, miss, yeah, they don't eat the sand on purpose. They eat the sand when they try to catch crickets. Yes, so I don't use sand. If they eat natural sand, they their stomachs get full of sand and that's not good for them. So I'll put the substrate first. Leopard geckos come from yeah the Middle East, like Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, yeah, some places like that. So they live in dry deserts, but you won't find them in sandy deserts like the Arabian desert or the Sahara desert. places. They live in more rocky deserts. Yeah, they live in rocky deserts more than sandy deserts. And now for time for the hide. Yeah, I bought one of these plastic hides. You need at least two hides because they need a humid hide and a dry hide. The humid hide is for humidifying because they need a hum they need like they need to be kind of humidified in winter, but in in summer, they don't need a humid hide, so I'm going to just put two hides and no humids. And the way to make humid hide is pretty easy. You just put wet kitchen towels under the hide. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And I use rock hides because they do. They live in rock deserts. And this is a water bowl. And you also need. A, a heat mat and you need a hot zone and a cool zone the, the hot zone will be zone will be on this side yeah but uh, it's summer now so I'm not gonna use the heat mat now yeah so they they need water too so yeah water bowl coming this uh, for now it's just so humid because it's summer and this year comes the water bowl and you also need calcium powder. I let let's just open this up. Oh yeah, they have a tiny little spoon for the calcium. And little instruction. Hmm. What kind of lizard is this? If you know what kind of lizard this is, leave it in the leave it in the comments. If you know what kind of lizard this is, I think it's a type of gecko, but I don't really know. Okay. 
calcium powder is uh, like just for calcium for their bones. Uh, some people say that leopard geckos eat calcium when they need them, like humans. Yeah, but actually humans don't know when they need them. They just know they just eat them. But leopard geckos have a calcium pouch, so they store a calcium in there. You should dust their food with calcium. Yeah, calcium powder, and you could put a piece of calcium powder here and there and so this is my leopard gecko I'm going to put her in uh, yeah first how to hold leopard gecko it's pretty easy yeah here she is I didn't uh, name her yet I it has a Korean name but she doesn't have an English name still she's a red stripe as I told you and she's perfectly fine if you think she's not fine or too fat or yeah i don't think she's skinny if you think she's too fat leave it in the comments and if you have nice leopard gecko keeping tips please tell me that too yeah, and you sh you shouldn't keep two male leopard geckos together but you can keep two female leopard geckos together if there's enough space now and for one for about one day, don't give them any food, just water. Now I'm going to just water about a day and tomorrow I'll check if she eats and if she doesn't, I'll just, yeah, I'll do her in a day. Then just leave them about a week and then try it again. How to hold leopard geckos? Okay, I'm not gonna hold her here or maybe I will, yeah. You just put your hand here and you hold, her up, hold them up like Put your hands here, slowly, and like this. Wow, I never touched the leopard gecko's belly. It's really cool. Yeah, I like the feeling. It's really cool. And the claws do have a funny feeling. It's really cool. Okay, I'm going to put her in here. Go into your hide little, uh, I don't know your name. I didn't name you yet. Go into your new home, whatever. So. I still don't, I couldn't find the lid of this uh, living box, so I'm going to use this as a lid. And I'm gonna put a book on top of here. Oh yeah, Harry Potter. Too heavy, maybe? Yeah, okay, I'll just use another book. I think Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is too heavy. I'll just use... Oh yeah, this book. It's a Korean book. You won't be able to read it if you're an American. I'll just put it here. And make sure the lid doesn't fall on top of her. Yeah, I'll just use it like this, but not now. Let's just watch her for a minute. Okay, she's going into the high. No, you're not. Okay, please leave it. Please tell me what I'm going to name her. I didn't think of her English name. I just want to... Uh, my subscribers and people that watch my video name her yeah because i didn't think of a name oh yeah she's going into the rock hide yeah goodbye i think she's healthy enough i bought big kites not small ones because i don't know how much she's gonna grow yeah you are going into your little hide the leopard gecko and and one thing please don't hold their tails They're, they could detach their tails that means they're gonna cut their tails by themselves and their tails work like camel sums that means their tails store energy yeah they store fat so if they you detach if you hold their tails they're gonna detach them and if they detach them they won't have hmm, if you detach them they're going to get yeah, energy loss and that's not that's very bad for them energy loss is very bad for leopard geckos yeah it's very bad for humans too I use this kind yeah it's like 28 degrees and 80 the, 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 like the humidity is 83 I'm going to just leave it in here I wish she doesn't poop on this yeah, I'll leave it here so she doesn't she doesn't poop on it. Okay. Yeah, like this. Okay. Why doesn't this stand on there? Oh yeah.
much better. And you should change. You should change their kitchen towels about once a week. If they, if they poop, you should just change the kitchen towels. Don't leave it too long, or that's not good for them. Yeah, twenty-eight point four degrees. It's very hot, so I'm not going to use the heat mat for now. But if it gets cooler, I'm going to put that heat mat in here. And it don't please don't use kitchen towels that have you know like bad chemicals in them. This kitchen towel is the same. This was the video. Please subscribe or like the video and and tell me what I'll name my leopard gecko. And bye bye.